tonight is the opening of Sideshow. It's also the opening of Joseph Boys at Trade. Sideshow's a citywide festival uh, that runs alongside the British Art Show. People like Genoa Projects were invited to select the work. It was submitted by anybody in the city. And in the attic space of 1 Thorsby Street, you've got a programme of works that will run for around eight weeks. So there's eight, eight different projects that will be shown up here. Um, people from the studios in the Stan Assembly, which is downstairs. Uh, the rest of the Sideshow is, is kind of broad selection of people whoever kind of submitted they select from. Um, I guess it's a good barometer to uh, test like the kind of contemporary art waters in, in Nottingham, but aside from the kind of institutional things like Nottingham Contemporary and New Art Exchange, which I guess is more um, official. But this is really, I guess this is probably one of the biggest events that um, one Thorsby Street's had and Trade's had. We've got um, Golden Hill upstairs, we've got an exhibition on the top floor. Um, we've got Trade Gallery, we've got Joseph Boys. So there's two really great exhibitions. We've got Masting and Farmer on top of the Revolve, Alexander Stevenson's Revolve. So that's quite cyclical work which changes venue in relation to a lot of events in the sideshow. Um, and generally we've just got maximum capacity, if not more, in here tonight than we've got bands Myself, Tom and yeah. Blue are via Vaudeville, um, working with Darren Simpson, who's an unpublished writer from Nottingham, and the piece is called The Dust on the Moth, which is also an unpublished book by Darren called The Dust on the Moth. But within the installation, there are pointers within it that kind of um, explore or explore the work as a whole. I've had a lot of people asking me tonight, what is the, what does it all mean? And I've been coming, I've been, give, I've been going to the uppermost layer of what it means, rather than, because you can go deeper if you want, but that's up to you. Yeah. But the uppermost true. layer, I think, is the fact that it's about the mundane, it's the mythological, and it's a bit like this, basically, and that's what's been found here, and that's what the book's about. It's about something being slightly off, and that's kind of how things really are. The building has a, a genuine need for a, a fire exit up here, yeah. and uh, this, I mean, this is serious. There's a door there for the fire exit that's being installed, but whilst preparing to make the door for the, the fire exit that really is needed, they, there's some Viking ruins which makes no sense whatsoever in a Victorian building, Yay. and that's what's kind of off. That's what's kind of slightly off about this space. <laughs> The 10th, 11th, and 12th of November. The three objects on the wall are actually um, props that we use within a performance um, in which you have three performers around this large revolve, and the audience will sit on it and be physically turned to point at each of the performers at different times during the performance. And uh, the props are made of <laughs> um, there's a can crown which is made out of uh, over 50 McEwen's beer cans. And there's a, 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 a prosthetic set of horns for a sheep, and uh, they're made out of lots and lots of different rams' horns. And there's a, a big sack that's made into a sort of a guising mask as well. And there are three other characters that will be part of the performance. It's not every day you get Nicholas Sarosa walking around your studio. <laughs> So the idea is it travels around from place to place throughout British Art Show and Sideshow the, the, while it's open and we will be travelling around and getting books and well, books that are donated to us by artists and institutions and organisations who want to give books and we will um, have them in the van and then people will be able to come and flick through them and read them wherever we are. And we're also doing a series of talks every Saturday. We'll be based here at One Thoroughsby Street. The first of which is next Saturday after the Artist Book Fair, which is held here in this courtyard. And then there's a talk with Emma Cocker. She's doing the first one. And then on Saturday, November 13th, is um, Reading for Reading's Sake, who are a Manchester-based organisation who are doing the next talk. And then what's your one? What's the date of yours? <clears throat> the 28th of November. That's... Um, an artist duo from Norwich, Tony and Bradby, who have been running something called a conversational library for about two years now, which is a kind of non 
I, I guess a kind of private exchange of books. Um, it's called the Conversation Library, and um, they'll be going public for the first time. This, this so it's an interesting space because it's, um, I wonder how much people will use it as a reading room. How kind of it, um, I'm interested in, it, in its usability because, for example, we had an artist who's one of the sideshow artists, Georgina Bar Barney, yeah. came earlier. And she did a she just randomly picked a book off the shelves and did a uh, read a Ted Hughes poem to me, and it was really quite a performative. Thing for her to be reading this thing amongst all these books in this funny space that we're in and I, I'm quite interested in that how that goes along we're interested in kind of maybe filming some of the artists or whoever comes in and steps in and um, comes and re picks things, something off the shelves at random more and more that will be representational of what is going on in Sideshow and British Art Show uh, I've got a studio up there in yeah. Thorsby Street uh, part of the Heuristics Laboratory with Georgie and uh, Ruth Scott at the mall for us. I've taken like as a starting point uh, the idea of like telecineing things, uh, like converting film to video and that kind of like, exchange that goes on. So my screen and great <laughs> Grassroots artist-led scene, and it's really good that people could experience that.